What's good, brother? What's up, man? You know what, Aiden? Are you gonna blame me again? <laughs> it's all your fault. Nah, man, you know what? I publicly dissed you like that. There's no way around it. I publicly dissed you like that. So if I could publicly diss you, then I can publicly apologize to you, man. So thank I you. I, I got booty hurt, man. I'm not gonna lie. I was more pissed at the fact of like I was having a really good stream. I was really enjoying it. And then I you know how it is. Whenever some shit comes up and it kills the mood and everything like that. Yes. And so, you know, I was on some female shit and I got in my feelings. Yes. And, you know, I had Twitter fingers, bro. So I'm gonna just be a man and just be straight up and I apologize, bro. Thank you, bro. That takes that takes a, a, a man to to come and do that, bro. I appreciate that, bro. That is some real man shit you just did, and I appreciate that. Now, here's one thing I'm gonna call you out on, okay? Okay, let me hear it. Your chat says L.A. and all the fucking time. You don't stand up for me. I there there was from this LGD on bullshit. I didn't go for that. Why do you let that shit slide, huh? Why? That they said L.A. Did? Yeah, I don't want that shit slide at all, nigga. They used to fucking say El Jadeon in my own shit whenever I would talk to Sneaky. No, 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 no. When I, oh, so they just don't like that side of the uh, internet? No, it, it's just that, like, I, I don't take it seriously. They're, if you literally are saying L in a chat, it's just like, like, what am I supposed to say to that? Like, you're just all you're saying is L. Like, what logical response? Like, there's just nothing I can say. Mm. Whether right, it be fair enough to me. Good response. I mean. Now, if someone, like, made, like, a whole thread... It listed out stuff, and it's like, okay, that's not true about Aiden. And it's like, you know, but obviously no one's going to do that on a stream chat. You're right. You're right. Well, look, man, I, I really do appreciate that that apology, man. And, I, and again, I, I when I was stated what I had to think about the situation, I did say, you know, you were just probably in the moment very mad because I understand, like, what it's like. You saw porn, you're panicking the fuck out, you're bugging the fuck out. You know what I mean? Like, you were tripping because, like, you can get banned on YouTube for that shit. I get it. Bro, and like I have like a huge video that I'm gonna drop this week, and you know, like if you get banned on one channel, oh, that was because yeah, I can't. If I get banned on one channel, I can't even post on my main. So it was just like a lot of things I was thinking about, but in all honesty, I should just chilled out, relax. So I'm a, I'm I'm a be a man and just say I was wrong. You know, I'm still pissed about the situation, of course, but I like you had nothing to do. You know, you don't own kick or nothing. Thank you. I don't. And, you know, thank you, bro. I really. You are the face, though. You are the face. Yes. And I guarantee if you go to Twitch right now, there's someone with zero viewers streaming porn. Guarantee. <laughs> Probably. Yeah. But um, with that being said, man, like I said, man, I, I do appreciate you coming on here publicly and doing that, bro. That, that, that's, that's a lot. It means a lot to me. I appreciate that for real. Bro, man, you know, like, I saw niggas from the other side like, using my tweet to gang up on you and stuff like that. And it wasn't even, like, a fact of, like, me trying to diss you. It was more of a fact of, like, damn, this is the Twitch... Like, I was, like, this is the Twitch killer. I wasn't, like, it's your fault. But a lot of people were, like, using my tweet to, like, go at you and shit like that. And I was just, like... Oh, Wait, they man, were? What the fuck were they saying? I deleted it. I deleted it. I was, like, you know what, bro? It's not that big a deal. Because after Dextero... What, what are them niggas' names? Oh, yeah, Dextero, yeah. Mm-hmm. Bro, like, I can't stand them, bro. They fucking lied on me and shit. Oh, I know. So after, after they used my tweet to, like, do some other shit, it was just like, bro, like, so I just went on and deleted it and stuff like that. Yeah. I mean, look, it is what it is, bro. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I just, I guess I appreciate the, uh, I appreciate you, you coming on and doing that, bro. I really do. You, um, you got to come to kick. You'd like it. It's a good platform for you. Why you and, say that? Um, they pay you a bag probably, and uh, on top of that, you can do whatever the fuck you want, pretty much. Um, and um, without having to worry about getting banned. Like, if you ever did some dumb shit, like I pulled up porn just to show, like, oh, I can pull up porn. But like, you, like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, that's not that's a bad example. But, like, I'm just gonna say, like, so I, I, my only question, and I guess my only concern is, is like, is this kick shit real? And what I mean by that is, you know, it's kind of coincidental that's like once. Gambling got banned on Twitch. You know, Train got to work and made kick. You feel me? So it's yeah. like, is this kick shit actually like legit? Okay, we want to do so, it better. So there's this shit actually something where their plan is th that's their plan. Their plan is to sign non gamble streamers. So the next, there's actually two people I know for sure that are coming that are signed. 
and they don't gamble at all. And um, I think one of them did one of them announce it on um, someone announced it. I forgot who announced. Someone I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I don't know if they did or not. But like I said, bro, give it a few months. Give it two or three months. Uh, once you see transitioning to where it's not just strictly gambling like base and stuff, which it's already there's already there's a good amount of mid streamers on here that don't even gamble. Like I mean, my mid is like mid sized streamers. So. You know, there's good, there's good faces coming on, bro, that are, aren't going to be gambling, that are that are huge. So Okay, it's not even about, like, people coming on that aren't gamblers. It's more of, like, the fact of, like, are the people behind it serious about it? Or is this just so, like, you know, you can still do your gambling streams and you'll be okay? Like, that's that's my only concern is, like, you know, I want it to be – I don't want it to be a mixer situation. Oh, I understand like, what you're you know? saying. Yeah, it's going to be – it's going to be big, bro. Um, It's going to be not just – funneling to gambling no it's going to be a real a real thing and i think again man it, it, you know you look at it from perspective on things right like you you know you seeing like the corruption that twitch has and stuff is just it doesn't make sense bro you know gambling is not even banned on twitch um you can you can gamble off of fanduel i think right chat fanduel what whatever the fuck it is and they have the same slot they have sweet bonanza and all those blackjack games and the same thing so it's just funny it's like because they're sponsored by fanduel because Amazon and NFL are, are working together, they won't ever ban, am, or ever ban that. They ban stake and stuff because it's they don't have they're not getting paid by stake. So, yeah. you know, it's it's a lot that comes with it. A lot of a lot of a lot of stuff like a uh, train. You train, hear a crazy story? Huh. So, um, remember my TwitchCon video? Yes. So when I went there and I did my thing with the part that I was talking to Pokey, there's this other girl there, right? And so. After I got done talking to Pokey, that girl, she came up to me and she was like, let me see your badge real quick. And I showed it to her. I just flipped it around. And then she was like, oh, okay. And then she left. I was talking to Pokey. And then I'm leaving. And as I'm leaving, you can see it in the video, I had the security guards come up to me and stuff like that. And they're like, give us the badge. And we got to get out of here. And so they kicked me out or whatever. And so fast forward, um, I get to do my appeal again you know how every couple months if you like do an appeal and they reject it you have to wait a little bit and you can redo it so my appeal was coming back up and i was talking to my manager about it and he had some contacts up there and they were like talking saying like yo there's something that we could do to get Janine on back you know like he's been chilling hasn't done anything and so that lady in the video she told the representatives there she was like hey i was there he was going around yelling, calling people femboys. And he a was what boy? Really disres- she said that I was going around calling people femboys. And she also said that whenever she asked to see my badge, I got aggressive with her and everything. And she said, we can't let something, somebody like this get back on the site. So L bitch. I was, just, I was just like, I like when you were talking about corruption, I was just like, bro, like I already know all about that. It's, it's crazy because it's like, I have like, literally, I still have all the footage. Wow! Just like, why are you why are you lying like that? Yeah, bro. It's it's just a it's a thing. Like, I know I know you're friends with some of them, but some of those Twitch streamers are fucking puppets. So it's like they'll only push certain agendas based off of what Twitch is pushing, and they won't call it bullshit. Like the fact that none of them have even called out Twitch. Like, all right, in my opinion. Tell me if I'm wrong. And be honest, bro. And y'all tell me I'm wrong, too. I feel like after you did all that shit where you made up for it, I feel like... And I don't know if she did or not. Pokemon should, like, low-key vouch for you. But, like, yo, like, let's bring him back. Like, he learned his lesson. He pulled up on me. Like, we talked off-camera, on-camera. Like, he squashed it, made it, like, like known that, like, it's not cool to, like, harass people in their chat. Like, I just feel like something should have been said from that end. Like, I don't know. It, that's, how, that's how I feel. Like, and she she doesn't have to do that. And, and again, like, yeah, that's, that's her... That's her she has to do that, like whatever. Like I just feel like she should have done that. I don't know. That's I don't know. Maybe maybe I'm and I don't know. So I'm not. You know, maybe she did. I don't know. But yeah, I mean, like you know, I don't know what she did or didn't do or, or anything like that. And then you know, yeah, kind of should have would have. Like at the end of the day, it's just it's, it is what it is. You know, it is what it is, my friend. But I will say, when they all get unbanned. It has to. It's not like I could be banned forever. <laughs> I think you actually can be. Who's banned forever, chat? Fucking uh, what's his name? Uh, I oh uh, Ice Side is right. Is he probably banned forever? Probably. No. 
Um, Doctor Suspect. Um, do you think Speed's gonna get unbanned? I feel like Speed's like the weirdest case. Has Speed ever? Um, he probably hasn't even did an appeal, has he? No, he has. Yes. Like I feel like Speed's like a weird, weird case because it's like, a he's not on your platform, and then b it's like one mistake. A he's never done anything like that ever since it, you know. And then C, how old was he? Wasn't he like sixteen when he said that? How old was Speed when he did that shit? Sixteen or seventeen? He was sixteen, I think, right? I think he was like sixteen. It's like he was literally a kid. You know what I mean? So if it is like, I feel like Speed should be top top priority. But then again, it's like he really like he that as doesn't need it. You feel me? Like no, nah, he doesn't. He doesn't. But I, I, I feel just like think, he likes streaming by himself. I feel like that's for sure. That's his thing. Him. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Um. I don't know, bro. I just told you how I feel about the whole ban system. You should be banned for a long time, and if you could show that you're you're correcting and bettering yourself, and that's how I really believe in, in things in life. You're not going to learn just by hitting someone with an indefinite suspension. Have them learn about. Have them get on a phone call with them. Talk to them about it. Like it's so whack, they just cold shoulder the fuck out of you and be like, "Oh, on the next." It's whack. But again, bro. Well, you got to come in. You know, like if kick goes crazy, then Twitch will be like, "Fuck, we got competition." So. Let's do some good PR and bring Dr. Disrespect back. Can I ask you a question? If someone paid you if someone paid you $100 million to never stream again or do YouTube again, would you take it? Bro, there's so much more than money. You feel me? Okay, but if someone offered you $100 million to never stream or make a YouTube video ever again, would you take it? No, nah, no, nah, I wouldn't. I'm like, that's me being genuine because it's just like, I I'm happy. I like I get enjoyment out of making videos and making content. Would you stop streaming if you got hundred million dollars? Yes, but I would go to YouTube full time, and I'm gonna explain why. Here's why I would do it, bro. Wait, 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 wait. You just said, wait. You said streaming and videos, but you're still gonna be. Making oh, you're content. right. You're right. Yeah, I know. I just I just completely like flip myself. Um, I would just find another way uh, to, to to get out there and stuff, whether it's podcasting or something. Because, bro, you have to understand. Like, yes, it's our passion. I get it. At the end of the day, like you lose your, you know. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. But bro, like, can I be honest? Do you think people in, in 10 years are going to be watching us? Mm, I've been thinking about that, bro. Do you honestly think so? Bro, I just like, you know, I don't know what it is. It, it, I look at it like this. It's like, I don't know what I'm going to be doing in 10 years. You feel me? But is when you, that video you made when you were like, it's 2019, it's January 1st, 2019. I'm going to take over. What was what was your definition of takeover? Like, I want to hear it because I feel like I feel like you and me will have like the same thing. What was your definition of takeover? Man, just be where I am now and, and you know, be able to take care of my family and be able to provide and and be able to just be who I am today. You know, um, look, man, I'm not going to say I lost my passion for this shit, but I I definitely lost my fuel on fire. Like I used to have fire, but I used to have hunger. You know what I mean? Um, I know. I'm not gonna lie. Um, you know, after you and Pammy broke up, like I saw that like you'll come back for like it did. It was you back. Were, yes, you, you were really. But then, and then after you got banned from Twitch, I was like, oh shit. That's not what did it. What, what did it but is then, what did it is people trying to swap my family members who have nothing to do with this internet shit. And people and people really trying to do weird shit on the internet, like leak public information that no, sorry, private information. That's that shit that 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 makes me not like this shit. Do you understand what I'm saying? If something like that happens to me, I'm like, what the fuck? This is real life. And motherfuckers are really trying to swap me for a reaction. And 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 you know that's 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 what I see. And, and, and you know, it's just it's fucking corny as fuck to me. It is. It's corny, bro. It really is. No, really Miller is. Ross is not real. Miller Ross is not fucking real. No, it's not real. What did, is that really your brother? No, I don't have a brother, bro. I do not have a brother. I have sisters, that's it. How is your sister doing? She's good, bro. Thank you for asking. <laughs> yeah. She's kind of been MIA. Yeah, I guess she has been, huh? I, mean, I don't know. I, like, I don't like follow her or nothing like that. Yeah, 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 I get what you're saying. Know, like, she used to like pop up on people's streams or TikTok or something. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Um, 
So with this new kick deal, now that you got the bag, like I feel like like and this is me like just being hundred percent honest, I feel like you should really like you got you gotta put on, bro. Like you you whether you want to or not, you are the face of this website. People think of kick, they're gonna think of you. Cause you're the first big name to switch over here. So it's like, you know, not wrong. Like, I feel like you really got to like put on for this hoe because like if niggas just see you just chilling and stuff like that, they're going to think shit's sweet where it's like, okay, yeah, you really don't have to try hard with this shit. It's kind of just